I believe in equality for men and women. I really stand for that, man. Like, uh, I went on a date with this girl recently. She wanted me to pay, and I have a strict no-paying policy on the first day, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, ladies. I thought you were all I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T-D. -E 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 you know what that means? Yeah. It means you can pay for some shit, okay? <laughs> That's a rap song, in case you know I spelled it out. Independent, ask a black person, whatever you gotta do, all right? There you go. I'm saying, look, we don't know each other. Why don't we just split it, see what happens, right? If I had to be your boyfriend, I'll buy you stuff. I'm not against paying ever. I'm just saying on the first date, how about no pressure, right? This girl got a match. She's like, oh, my God, you're such a cheap guy. I think the guy should pay. I mean, I'm just old-fashioned. And I felt bad. I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm old-fashioned, too. So how about you shut your fucking mouth? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh uh, uh. uh -oh. <laughs> Hey, you're so fast, you want you to put on an apron. I'll pay for the meal when you make it. How about that? <laughs> Happy stop voting. I'm just taking shit in the woods. I mean, how far back you want to go this remember the time stuff, huh? <laughs> oh, you're selectively traditional. I see. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been single now for uh, 10 years successfully. Thank you very much. Uh, I say successfully because it's hard to be single for that long, right? Girls try to use it against you. Oh, that's why you don't have a girlfriend. That's why you're saying, eh, it's easy to have a girl. What do I just got to get yelled at and be wrong all the time? I can do that. Come on. It's easy to have a girlfriend, right? Here's the thing. I just don't like, uh, like, uh, in relationships, it's always a power struggle, right? Like, in the beginning of the relationship, who's in control, the man or the woman? What do you guys think? The woman. Yeah, it's the other woman. Dudes don't say anything. Oh, yeah, the woman. <laughs> You know what, I think the dude's in control in the beginning. Well, the girl's in charge of the sex, you regulate the flaps or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I get you're in, you control that. <laughs> but, but dudes are in control of the relationship. You know why? Because girls generally are pretty indecisive in the beginning, right? It's always like, what movie you want to see? I don't know, you pick. Uh, do you want to stay in or go out tonight? I don't know, you decide. Uh, what do you want to do later? I don't know, you pick, I can't decide. Well, what the fuck? The problem is, six months later, they start using that shit against you. One night, she's gonna be like, you're so controlling. We always do what you wanna do. I never get to say anything. <laughs> right? So what does the guy do? He's like, okay, I'm sorry. We'll do whatever you want, right? That's when girls take control. In the middle of the, once you've been together for like six months, the guy lets his guard down. That's where it's sneaky, sneaky. Start taking little things, little by little, to build your case for later. I've been watching, I, fo I, fo I followed this. It traced it all the way back to the car keys. Like one night, you're gonna go out, and she's gonna be like, give me your keys. And you're like, what? Because you're going to lose them. You're like, what the fuck? I never lost my keys my whole life, right? <laughs> but you're a nice guy. You don't want to fight. You're like, yeah, here, my, hold my wallet, keys, cell phone. Let's just go see bridesmaids, whatever. I right, fine. <laughs> then they start taking more things. Here, oh, here, let me cook for you. Oh, here, let me clean for you. Oh, I'll do the laundry. Oh, I'll do the bills. Don't worry about that. Six months later, they start using that shit against you. Hey, you wouldn't be anything without me, okay? Your clothes would be all dirty. Your bills may be paid. You don't even know where your keys are. <laughs> And the dude's like, shit, I don't know where my kids are. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck.